couple of days ago on January 12th marked the 47th anniversary of the debut of the television show Batman, starring Adam West and Burt Ward. And there is the original, number one, and only Batmobile, as created by master customizer George Barrett. We welcome you back to Barrett Jackson. I'm Bob Barsha with Matt Stone, Mike Joyce, Steve Vignate, Rick DeBrule, Ralph Shaheen, and April Rose. And now in the social garage with the creator of the original Batmobile, here's Justin Bell. Yeah, thanks, Bob. I'm standing here with George Barrett. It's obviously a huge honor to have you here. And his grandson, Jared, right? So, George, every tweet we get almost is when we ask, what's your favorite car people are looking forward to seeing across the block? It seems to be, the obviously, the Batmobile. That must make you feel very good about what you created. Well, especially because it's the number one car, the world's most famous car, and it's been with the family since 1966 when I created it for the TV show uh, way back in 1966. Would you have believed that when you started that whole genre of sort of movie cars, that it would have the staying power that it does? Would you have believed that 50 years later it would have still been so in the American culture? Well, you know, it amazes me. I walk down the aisles and everybody reaches their hands out and shake my hand. Batmobile, Batmobile, it's great. I mean, from 6 to 60. Now, young kids and then in small ages, how do you remember the Batmobile, boys? <laughs> so you can see it graduated from the big full-size car down to the little miniature cars where the kids could also still say Batmobile. So obviously as it builds up to the big night when the car Batmobile comes across the auction block, what do you, I'm not, not going to talk about values, but talking about what do you hope the person that buys a car like the Batmobile will do with it? L let the public see it or, or keep it hidden away? Well, I guess there's several son. You're like my grandson here. He's looking at the view of what, that's the reason why I am putting the Batmobile up is because we've had it in our family since 66. I feel it's time for our family to stretch it out, let other people enjoy the car. And we're looking for what the interested person that enjoys to be a collectible and also enjoy what we did with the car that'll be part of his life. Well, thanks so much for both of you coming out. We're going to be talking to George and his family a lot more before the big night when it comes across the block. But remember, look out for that Batmobile. Bob? Thanks, Justin. I could tell you the other day on Family Day when everybody brought their kids for free to Barry Jackson here in Scottsdale, they walked through the Showcase Pavilion, went right by Clark Gable's Mercedes, went right by the Asana Freshini, they went right by the Murphy Body Duesenbergs. Everybody wanted to see the Batmobile. George Barris was absolutely right. Anybody want to guess how many episodes of the Batman TV show were made? I couldn't believe it when I looked up the number. I watched every one of them. One night late father. I'll never forget Tuesday nights. Couldn't wait for him to get.